What's going on guys? This is Rudy the Null here, and man, my week built up fast. <laughs> uh, if you haven't heard from me in the last couple of weeks, the last week, maybe the last week after that, maybe two weeks from now, I really haven't been doing much of anything, and there's a good reason for that. School has started for me. You probably all know that if you've been keeping up with my commentaries and you saw the last one, but wow, lots of stuff happens when school starts. <laughs> uh, yeah, school started up for me. I got the drama organization that I'm part of. Uh, we started a new show. So so we got rehearsals for that every every uh, every day. No, actually, every uh, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But I'm, I stay at the school for an extra two hours, so that takes up some of my time, and I can't really do too much. But we're actually doing a comedy, and it's tons of fun. Uh, I can talk about that later if you guys are actually interested, but I'll, I'll move on. <laughs> um, Tuesday, I had some dinner with my family. Uh, that kept me busy. I had homework that night. Did plenty of stuff. Wednesday, there was a nutrition workshop that I was attending and stuff like that. On Thursday, I had another rehearsal. I had um, I had uh, trumpet lessons. That took up a good half an hour. Not not really that long, but you know. Uh, there was a library. There was something. There was like a. a a drug resistance or like a substance abuse in, in my community they're they're trying to fight against like using alcohol and bad stuff in my community they, uh, that was part of the public library and I, I stopped by there that took a little bit of the time uh, and then Friday Friday there's rehearsal for the school show and then I've got one for the community show and yada 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 and Saturday <laughs> Saturday was a uh, Saturday was actually my birthday uh, I got a couple of guys together and we went up to laser tag and we had a blast. It was tons of fun. But yeah, that's just sort of like a quick run through of what I've been doing and a valid excuse as to why you haven't been hearing from me. But yeah, I mean, that's that's all. <laughs> So, now I can move on towards the code and what you actually came here to listen to. Um, I'm not going to explain what's happening in this video, because, um... Actually, the code has already been written. This is just me commenting again. This is a tactic that I do when I, I like, I, I write some code and I forget to record it for you guys. But I still want to show it to you. So, I'll just comment through it and show all the logic and stuff like that. So, uh... I'm not going to explain what this code does if you understand Visual Basic Script or if you can just read plain English. I'm sure you can figure out what this does. Um, I'm not really going to mention much of it. But I am trying to focus on other things. Uh, now that school has started for me, I am, I'm, like, I'm active. i got things going on, and I have problems that I want to solve that I need to solve. That I need to solve, and I want to solve. You know, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I just mix those two words around, but whatever. So... Let's get this started. I have I have biology class, and uh, and last year I had taken a uh, physical science, and that was actually a part of um, physics and chemistry. They just sort of like meshed the two classes together, and um, the chemistry part had something called balancing equations. If you if you're like a chemist or something, or you're, you've taken the class, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about when you're balancing chemical equations, stuff like that. Um, it's kind of a pain. <laughs> it's like it's a it's an annoying process because you have all these elements and these atoms that you're trying to keep track of. Each one has their own specific um, like amount or the amount of subparticles inside them, and uh, it's it's like it's playing with multiple um, least common multipliers like LCM least common multiple, and um, you've got tons of them because you're trying to keep track of all these different um, all these different elements, all these different numbers, and it's just kind of a pain. So. I realized that, like, okay, maybe I, maybe I can help myself. Maybe I can solve this problem. And uh, what I'm trying to do now is actually develop a program that you use on the calculator, the TI-89, the TI-84, stuff like that. You pro you guys probably know the TI-84 if you're a regular, like, high school or college student. TI-89 is better. <laughs> you, you can see me, like, rant about that in, in uh, one of the posts on nullshell.com, my website. So uh, I won't get into that, but, yeah, um... I'm I'm looking at that in TI Basic right now. I am using the TI-89 because that thing is friggin' amazing. Um, but I will be developing it for the TI-84 once I finish that like the idea. But it's it's still a thought, you know. It, it's never it's never a complete finished project, but it's just something I'd like to do. Cause there's tons of stuff that I could be doing, and I've still got school and trumpet lessons and soccer games and all this crazy stuff that's just that's just filling up my filling up my time. But, um, yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, I feel like the way we could do this is we'll have the user input a string where it'll, it'll sort out, and it'll, it'll balance the equation for them, but they'll input an equation, uh, I'm gonna, like, try and think of one at the top of my head right now. You're gonna need, like, 
carbon dioxide, so CO2 plus H2O for, for water plus energy, uh, yields, uh, I think it was O2 for oxygen and sugar, so C6H12O6. I don't even know what that real one is, but... So yeah, uh, <laughs> that, 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 that might be a terrible example. This is just off the top of my head. I'm probably wrong somewhere in that, in that statement, but... Um, it'll just loop through all those numbers, and but it'll it'll take the string, you input that string, it'll look for the position of the yield sign, the equal sign, however you want to input it, and then it'll separate the two strings. And then it'll, from there, it'll loop through each individual part of the string. It'll look till if it finds a number, then if it finds a number first before a letter, it knows, okay, this is a multiplier for the rest of these letters. If it finds a letter, it knows that it's dealing with a, it knows that it's dealing with an element. If it finds a number after the letter, it knows that the number is, uh, it's how much much is in that element. Um, if you know, if if you've seen like atoms and stuff before, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you do. But yeah, so that's the idea with that. You just you add them into a dynamic array. You're gonna keep adding adding stuff onto them. Maybe have some like corresponding parts to it, and then you would find the least common multiple and try and sort that out. So it's really just a bunch of string processing and a little bit of math. But I feel like that's definitely a good idea and something I could do. But I, I've been playing with the idea, and I, got, I feel like i got to do it in Python or something first. Or at least, like, I have to type it out to get my thoughts straight and get the logic all set. Even though I just, I tried to explain it to you right here. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's like, that's all I'm working on right now. School's been keeping me busy. School's been keeping me wicked busy. Uh, I, I'm doing English. I got um, this essay that I want to do. I feel like I talked about this. Where you look, you It would look through uh, parts of it. It would, it would look through an essay. It would loop through it. It would it would find periods. It would find sentences. It would find paragraphs. It would it would count how many how many words you have in a sentence. Each each sentence in particular. It'll find the average. It'll uh it'll try and find like similes and verbs. It'll try and like get rid of the uh, the unnecessary words. Yeah, I I, rem I think I remember talking to you about this with the front end of that essay thing, but. I never really got to that one too. There's just so much that I want to that I want to do, and it, it all piles up, you know. But <laughs> I hope you guys can relate to this. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, not much left. Uh, I got 30 seconds. No, 20 seconds. The countdown is going. Uh, the commentary is coming to a close, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It has been a while since I've actually been up here on YouTube and on Null Shell and being active and stuff. But my mind is racing. There are so many new ideas and new thoughts that are coming to me, and <laughs> it'll all be done eventually. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, thanks again.